Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood or platelets. But the American Red Cross says we have a problem. Donations are down, which is a common trend in the summer months. Mandy Gaither reports on how you can help. It's that time of year again. As summer heats up, the level of blood donations in the U.S. goes down. In June alone, uh, we saw a 12 percent decline in donations, which is uh, very significant and more than we have seen in many, many months. Summer months are always a struggle for blood collection as travelers head out for vacations, blood drives can't be hosted at schools, and people tend to make less time to donate. The pandemic also hasn't helped, says Rodney Wilson with the American Red Cross. Lots of factors uh, related to COVID continue to um, to make it hard for us to, to collect enough blood. The American Red Cross says whole blood is the most flexible type of donation. It can be transfused in its original form or separated into red cells, plasma, and platelets to help multiple people. It's often given to trauma patients or those having surgery. The need for blood can come up unexpectedly and very suddenly at any time. Wilson says more donors of all blood types are needed to prevent typical summer shortages. On average, uh, the Red Cross needs to collect uh, close to 13,000 blood donations every single day to support patients at 2,500 hospitals across the country. He says it only takes about an hour of your time to help others. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Anyone interested in donating blood can schedule an appointment on the Red Cross website. Lisa